So this is a largemouth bass, Micropterus salmoides. It's in the Centrarchidae family, which is the family of sunfish and basses. It is a relatively laterally compressed fish, but it's long and has a large mouth, which is where it gets the common name, largemouth bass. This is a very popular sport fish in the United States, possibly the most popular sport fish, which means that people spend a lot of time and money recreationally catching this species. Some people eat it, but most often it is catch and release. The largemouth bass has a large mouth. In here, you can see the gill rakers, which are those long white bars right here. And there's also these gill filaments, which are these red, highly vascularized things that allow for efficient oxygen exchange. And later on, we'll talk about countercurrent exchange. In this species, the mouth extends to the edge of the eye, uh, which is one way you can tell it apart from the smallmouth bass, which is a different species in the genus. And this species also has a dark lateral line, whereas other members of the genus do not have, um, at least other members in northeastern Illinois do not have that. And like other members of Centrarchidae, it has a dual dorsal fin. So it would have two dorsal fins, but they're actually merged together. And so the posterior dorsal fin has rays only, whereas the anterior or head side dorsal fin has spines. And compared to other species in the genus Micropterus, the highest point of the dorsal fin, the highest point of the spined dorsal fin is in the middle, um, whereas in other species, uh, it will be a different shape. In addition, um, in Micropteris salmoides, the spined and rayed dorsal fins are almost separate. Here's another look at the gill filaments and gill rakers. The gill rakers are used to keep food in the mouth while water comes in the mouth and over the gills so it can get oxygen. And the gill filaments are there to take oxygen out of the water. This is the habitat. It's just a small pond on Northern Illinois campus. And this species will be hanging out, eating small fish, frogs, worms, pretty much anything that can fit in its large mouth. And now we'll go and release this guy. There's too much algae. There we go. Micropterus salmoides, largemouth bass.